are on our way to Falling Water in rural Pennsylvania. Let's get a nice shot of uh, the exciting cosmopolitanness of rural Pennsylvania. Plenty of places to hide a dead body. That is the state motto of Pennsylvania. <laughs> Anyways, we are on our way to Falling Water. Falling Water is the most iconic of Frank Lloyd Wright's works. Uh, Frank Lloyd Wright, famed architect of the American school, and by that I mean he stole a bunch of ideas from the Japanese and then put his name on it and called it American. So, yay USA. Um, but Frank Lloyd Wright created Falling Water um, was, is today widely considered to be his most famous um, and most iconic work. Um, Frank Lloyd Wright was an interesting character. He was basically America's first drag queen. Um, straight drag queen, actually. Uh, Frank Lloyd Wright was a short little queen. Um, did not like tall people, but himself used to wear heels. So if you can imagine a fierce little Frank Lloyd Wright just clacking around out here in rural Pennsylvania, <laughs> put in houses and places that they shouldn't be. Um, interesting thing about Falling Water too is the fact that if it weren't for the conservation efforts of all of his um, very devoted fans, the place would have already fallen apart because he put it on top of a fucking waterfall and the waterfall has basically eroded at its base, turning over into Falling Water right now. Um, but Frank Lloyd Wright was really about making sure that he was marrying the scenery of a place with the actual design. So he wanted them to seamlessly coincide uh, with each other. So made sure that he was picking a place that was beautiful in natural beauty before adding his own design to it. This, of course, is one of Frank Lloyd Wright's most iconic works of art entitled Grocery Store Basket in Nature. A Frank Lloyd Wright addiction is probably the most expensive addiction in the world because you spend about 50 bucks for a freaking mug. This tour is not for the faint of heart. This tour is not for those individuals who think to themselves, Frank Lloyd Wright, he was a pretty good architect, I guess. This is for my hardcore Frank Lloyd Wright heads out there. The ones that bang to fucking prairie style. Um... Bitches here came not to play. So we'll see how this goes because I'm not that big of a fan of Frank Lloyd Wright. And uh, these bitches look serious. So let's see how it goes. And there she is, people. The Grand Rouville, which is falling water. You can hear the water. You can see the lines. You know this is Frank Lloyd Wright. You feel it in your bones. There she is, bask in her glory. Just finished the Frank Lloyd Wright tour. I am mad sleepy, as Puma is as well, because Frank Lloyd Wright did not like lighting anything, and it was nice and cozy inside. <laughs> Um, bitches were pressuring and releasing all over the place. Uh, pressure and release is the architectural style that Frank Lloyd Wright used to make it feel like you were in a bigger space. So, lots of pressure and release amongst the audience. Uh, as you can see, building behind us, lots of moldy cement, felt just like Mexico. Okay folks, this is the money shop right here. And then we all pay good money to see. No one does water damage quite like Mr. Frank Lloyd Wright. Stalin say like and subscribe.